Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about geothermal energy and nuclear energy. So first we will discuss about geothermal energy. Okay. So what is geothermal energy students? Due to the geological changes due to geological changes molten rocks the molten rocks formed in the deeper hot region of the earth crust formed in deeper hot regions of earth's crust are pushed upward are pushed upward and trapped in and trapped in certain regions called hot spots certain regions called hot spots okay when underground water when underground water comes in contact with the hot spot comes in contact with the hot spot steam is generated steam is generated such outlets sometimes hot water from that region finds outlets at the surface sometimes hot water from that region from that region finds outlets at surface such outlets are known as hot springs such hot springs okay the steam trapped in rods is routed through a pipe to a turbine the steam trapped which is the steam we are getting here okay steam is generated so this steam gets trapped in rods is routed through a pipe is routed through a pipe to a turbine and used to generate electricity used to generate the electricity so this is what we called as geothermal energy students because the molten rocks formed in deeper hot regions of earth crust are pushed upward and trapped in certain regions called hot spots so when underground water comes in contact of these hot spots they produce steams and this steam is get trapped through a pipe to the turbine and used to generate the electricity so this is called as geothermal energy okay so now we are going to discuss about nuclear energy so student now we will discuss about how is nuclear energy gets generated okay so it is generated in a process called as nuclear fission 
nuclear fission in this process the nucleus of heavy atom any atom such as uranium plutonium thorium when bombarded with low energy when bombarded with low energy neutrons low energy neutrons can be split apart can be split apart into lighter nuclei into lighter nuclei okay so when this is done when this is done a tremendous amount of energy is released a tremendous amount of energy is released okay if the mass of the original nuclei if the mass of original nucleus is just a little more than is just a little more than the sum of the masses of individual products sum of masses of individual products the fission means this should be the condition okay the fission of an atom of uranium for example produces 10 million times of energy produced by combustion of an atom of carbon from oil so you can notice that 10 million times the energy of burning of carbon atom so in nuclear fission a lot of it means a tremendous amount of energy is produced so this is called as and this released energy can be used to produce steam and further generate electricity okay so the major hazard of this nuclear energy is storage and disposable disposal of spent of used fuels storage and disposal of used fuels the uranium still decaying into harmful subatomic particles improper nuclear waste storage and disposable disposal result in environmental contamination further there is a risk of accidental leakage accidental leakage of nuclear radiations which is harmful for human beings okay so the high cost of installation of a nuclear power plant high risk of environmental contaminations and limited availability of uranium means large scale use of nuclear energy prohibitive okay so students this is all about nuclear energy so in this lecture we discussed about geothermal energy and nuclear energy with this our chapter ends okay and if you have still any doubt or any question then you can comment in the comment section students i will be happy to help you guys there thank you happy learning